Hello and welcome to Kesmet Rising. So today I'm coming to you with a bit of information that is fairly specific and it is um, a so-called energy forecast. I want to talk about a particular energy that has been building up very, very slowly over the last few years, um, but at which we have come to a head with at this moment. Or I want to say it's like we're at the pinnacle of this energy right now. And um, it's like the energy is ripe to be. And over the next uh, few decades, it will become more and more um, clear and it will be it will be deepened in our society. And um, and people will find that uh, we are changing. OK, we are changing towards uh, a new way of looking at things. And what it is specifically is that we've come up from about 80 years maybe 90 years of thinking in a particular way about ourselves. Uh, this has to do with being a victim. It has to do with uh, laying blame and it has to do with boundaries. So I would say that the energy that um, we've had in the last 80 to 100 years or so is very much about uh, one feeling the pain that one actually uh, experienced and identifying with that aspect of oneself that is a victim within a particular circumstance and in that instance giving up one's power and, um, and not necessarily taking responsibility for one's own reaction in a particular situation. So what are we moving into then? Well, you would have found this to be already the case for at least the last few years. But a lot of, um, and this doesn't characterize everyone. There might have been people who lived in the 1920s who already had this, you know, or in the 1800s who've already had this. I'm talking about a general energy as it impacts everyone and not just one individual. Um, so what we f will find is what's washing over us as a society at the moment is, um, a move, we're moving away from being the victim and in doing so we are taking more responsibility for that of what, which we are. Uh, that is not to say that within particular circumstances one is not the victim but rather it is clarifying one's own responsibility within the situation and how one responds to a particular situation. In doing so one is required to set very firm boundaries with each other. And you will find in the next few decades that we are moving into an energy in which we are very clear about boundaries. We are very, we are very clear about what we are, will allow to impact us and what we will not allow to impact us. The way in which this energy is being felt acutely at this moment uh, amongst people is that you might find that you have less tolerance towards hearing people complain about situations. You may find that uh, people who uh, are set within a certain circumstance or they have a particular personality that doesn't allow them to really grow and evolve uh, so easily uh, and that they face you know continuously with a particular problem over the last 10 years or 20 years or 50 years, you would find that with these people, um, there will be less tolerance, okay? Some of these people will also find that they will move towards having less tolerance to themselves with regard to this. So it, this is almost as if they have a watershed moment and they feel like they need to stop it and they need to actually change things. And you will find that more and more people have this right now and that they change completely. And I feel that this is the energy that, you know, really prevails over the next three years or so. But what is it that I'm actually talking about right now that prevails for the next few decades? I would say three to five decades. I'm talking about setting so firm boundaries that we care only about ourselves and our well-being. And in doing so, we are actually caring much more are we impacting those around us in a far more consequent manner and in a positive manner 
Why? Because we've taken very good care of ourselves. Because we have spent a great deal of time caring for our own well-being and we have not allowed the, the disease of another to impact us. So what we have been in is very much uh, absorbing the disease of another or the, un, the, what is not well with another. We've been very empathetic in that respect and we've taken in a lot of problems of other people and we've had a lot of patience and time to hear where one has been a victim of particular circumstances, uh, circumstance, sorry, or where one has needed to complain about a particular circumstance. And what you'll find more and more is that you won't be hearing that. You won't have the tolerance or the patience to hear that anymore. Uh, it's like you will find that you need to be very firm with people. Uh, and, and if somebody's been complaining to you for a long time, you just need to say, well, I'm sorry, I can't hear any of that anymore. Or uh, I, I urge you to take responsibility for, what it, for your participation in this matter and how you've managed to arrive at this situation. Uh, as well. So in doing so, you are not disregarding or dismissing that a person has been hurt or, or how the person has actually been uh, impacted negatively within a particular context. But what you will be doing is that or what you find you might be drawn to doing uh, or where we're heading to is that uh, you will urge the person to move on as quickly as possible from that aspect of themselves, which is a certain form of victimhood or perhaps a martyrdom, into a space which is an empowered space. So you ask them or you will find yourself not willing, um, sorry, let me finish one sentence here. You will find yourself uh, not able to linger on as somebody explains their difficulty to you and you will urge them into a space of empowerment so you will urge them to move towards a better understanding of themselves an understanding of themselves in which they recognize their power okay so what is the umbrella of this energy well it is that we're moving into our power it is that we are no longer able to sit within a particular context and bemoan our context or our circumstances uh, and what has been done to us. But rather, we recognize our power and our power to manifest and our power to create. And we go forth with the knowledge that all that happens to us is a result of our actions and what we've put out there. Uh, and in doing so, we find that we are, we are faster able to recover from any particular difficulty that we find ourselves in. And in doing so, what is integral to this is setting very firm boundaries. So those people who often are available to hear another uh, another's difficulties, another pro another's problems, those people who are good listeners and uh, who want to heal and help others will find that they, they may prefer a method which is more firm. They may prefer to listen to that person and then urge that person to move on from the difficult situation that they're in rather than once again linger around that. Uh, in doing so, one needs to state very firmly where what is one what one is willing to accept and what one is not willing to accept. So, if you recognize that when you listen to one person or a person uh, that continually uh, complains about a particular context, and that your listening is in fact enabling them to stay within that particular situation and to, um, I don't want to use the word enjoy, but to somewhat benefit from being the victim or being the oppressed one within a particular circumstance. If you recognize that your action just by listening is an enabling of that 
behavior. Then you will quickly form boundaries or, for, or take a stance in which you are no longer doing that and you're no longer participating in this way, which is enabling the disempowerment of another individual. This is not to say that you should lack compassion and empathy when you go about creating these boundaries, but it's rather to acknowledge their potential and the yeah, the potential of the best that a person can be within a particular circumstance and urging that person to work towards that. Um, I felt that there's something more that I need to talk about boundaries here, but I feel that this is pretty clear. And um, I also don't want to labor on about these points. I think that the final thing I need to say about this is that you will experience some resistance from people when you're no longer able to uh, enable them or hear them complain continuously about the same things without changing their circumstances. You will receive resistance. You may, hurt, you may find that the persons that you're dealing with are hurt in that circumstance, in that situation. And you will need to understand that. You will need to accept that on some level and you will need to uh, work on repairing that part of your relationship without enabling further. So how does this apply to every one of us as individuals as opposed to applying to others that we are in relationships with? Well, it asks us to take responsibility for ourselves and our own well-being. So if you find that you're in a context with people in which you are, uh, you are you're losing energy or you'll find that you're draining but just simply by listening to people, it's for you in that particular situation to stand up for yourself, to sit up and say, I can't do this anymore. I cannot, can no longer listen to this or to remove yourself from that situation. And you'll find that in the next, in the time that we're moving into, in this energy that we're moving into, it will be easier for you to do that. It's easier for you to take care of yourself. And the one, one of the um, means by which you do this is by having very firm boundaries. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below and I'll be happy to answer you. Um, yeah, and talk more about this. And I hope that this has been helpful for you on some such, in some ways, or if it helps clarify what you may be experiencing at the moment. Um, my daughter is in the background and she's been coughing and uh, she's not well at the moment. So please excuse the, the background noise uh, if it's disturbed you. Uh, she is well taken care of, so don't worry about that. Um, yeah, I just want to say thank you for coming by and um, watching this video. And I'm wishing you all very well and much love and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.